Welcome to class. It's a brew day. A Belgian triple. Let's get brewing. Good old trusty brew father for the recipe. Grains, a lot of grains on this. Over 20 pounds of fermentables. Dingemans Pilsen, uh, which is their uh, uh, Belgian Pilsner malt. One pound of pale wheat. 10.9 ounces of aromatic malt. Eight ounces of acidulated malt. Two pounds of clear candy sugar. I am hoping to produce a 9.2% beer. Let's mash in. That's it right there. I've drank a lot of Belgian beers. I absolutely love them. It's only the second time I've brewed one. I'm not an expert, but you know who is an expert? This guy right here, Apartment Brewer Steve. So the West Flutter and Slash uh, West Mall strain, which is uh, YE's 3787 Travis High Gravity and also WLP. That's some good content right there. Look what we got. More snack packs from Northern Brewer. So I've got two ounces of Styrian Goldings and two ounces of Czech Sots. I've got a nice rolling boil going on in there. Two packets of Styrian Goldings going in. Oh, those smell good. One. Two. 60 minute timer begins. 20 minutes left. One ounce of socks, U.S. socks, going in. All right, it is 10 minutes left. It's candy syrup time. I did turn the element off, so it's not heating right now. Just keep the pump going, and I'm gonna stir this stuff in. Let's go. All right, element back on. Boil for 10 more minutes. Five minutes left in the boil. I had to add the second hot spider. I'm gonna add my five minute addition. I am adding the whole ounce. Mmm, it smells delicious. Here we go. Hey, guess what? My boil's done. I'm gonna turn off my element, start chilling it down. Always stressful chilling it down, but I did chill it down. It looked like it was coming out around 78-ish, which is a little warm, but that's all right. I am gonna oxygenate this. So what I'm gonna do is put it in my fermentation chamber, let that kind of bring it down a little bit farther before I pitch the yeast. Um, I will oxygenate and then pitch my yeast. I'll be ready to go. gasket that's been falling out of the lid of my reactor. I uh, actually had a viewer comment um, and give me the idea of using some keg lube on the inside of that gasket to hold it in place, which sounds like a great idea. So let's try it out. So I'm just going to run a little bit of sanitize or a little bit of a keg lube there and then stick it down in there. All right, great idea. Let's see if that works. The Belgian triple is not going in one of these. 
I got a delivery. 500 milliliter Belgian bottles. I'm actually looking forward to bottling this one. I can't believe that I'm saying that. I think there are still certain styles of beer that benefit from a little conditioning time in some bottles. So today I'm doing something that I thought I had sworn off forever. I'm gonna bottle some beer. in my garage. I'm sweating profusely. I did 12 bottles. Bottling is a chore. Now I know I switched to kegging. But for now, let's go put these in a nice dark place to uh, condition for a few weeks. And then uh, I'll probably crack one open and then let the rest of them sit for like six months. Cheers. I'll see you then. I heard a hiss. It's carbonated. It does not smell like it has an infection. It smells like a Belgian beer. It looks like a Belgian triple, except for my dirty glass. It tastes like a Belgian triple. A little yeasty, and I still have some alcohol warmth in there for sure. Needs to mellow out a little bit more. Definitely a little yeasty, a little bready. Not sure that I like that. Um, yeah, so I'm in the middle of editing this video. There it is back there. And I decided to revisit the Belgian triple. It is crystal clear that Duvel is on the back of the glass. It's about two months since I last tasted it. Haven't had one since, I've just been letting it sit. And the thing that I realize now after I've cracked this one open, because I decided, you know what? I need to give it, I need to revisit this. Maybe it just needed a little bit more time. Slightly undercarbonated probably because I didn't measure my sugar right. But the alcohol burn, gone away. The yeasty after flavor, also gone away. It's ended up being a nice, quite drinkable beer for 9.2%. It's actually pretty good. Uh, being that this is one of the first Belgians that I've made and I'm not an expert, I have come to realize that I think with these higher gravity beers, you need to let them condition in the bottle for a while. This is now, it's not the best beer I've ever made. It is definitely not a, a Chimay or a Duvel or a whatever other Belgian beer that you want to name. It's definitely not one of those, but it'll pass. Um, and I'll probably share it with a couple people. I'm glad you guys made it to this point in the video. Thank you for watching, cheers, and we'll see you in the next episode. Needs more carbonation. Cheers.